Well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers to Paint Tyson, and this is Phil YouTube. It's also Phil Boat's map show off of a map I actually made called Horse Training. Um, this is a quick little map that I threw together for if you guys want to get better at your equestrian skills. I will admit, it's not the most professional map I've ever done. There are a lot of things you can do to get around it. In fact, there's actually even a button that turns you to Game Mode 1 at the very end of it. It's meant to just be a little thing for a little training course if you didn't want to do it yourself. Uh, I made a little one for you. It has a little bit of humor in it, so I hope you like. Um, it has YouTube.com to fail by the for more cool stuff with my head, my season 2 head right there. And in this chest, we have 1.6 made out of baked potatoes and a little map info book. Which just basically tells you, like, how to use horses if you haven't, like, seen them already. And I have different horse skills right here. Uh, different horse, uh, horse levels, you could say. Depending on, um, depending on, uh, their jump heights. So right here we have easy. So this is a pretty high jump. We have easy. Another pretty high jump. We have extremely easy. This one is, it, trust me, you'll, you, it's gonna be hard to fail with this one. Um... Over here, we have hard version, which I, re I personally recommend. If you really want to get good at horse skill, definitely go with this one. Because you actually have to catch the jump in the orange bar to go two blocks high, which is what most of these jumps require. So it's very good if you want to get if you want to get good at horses, definitely try out this one. Then we have the impossible one. <laughs> and then lastly, we have the if you do it, you are a god one. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, if you do it with any of these guys, set post it as video response, and I will claim that you are hacking. But, um, for less rage purposes, let's not use the hard one. It's it's definitely possible with the hard one, but, yeah, I'm just gonna go with the easy one for now, just to show you that. All of them have been roped in. Also, you need to, excuse me, you need to do this for both of them. Uh, they've all been roped in, and if... I thought this one was roped in. Was this one not roped in? That's weird. Oh, no, it was. Yes, it was. Um, and as you can see there, if you guys watched my previous video about the jump bars, yeah, you can see I made a little myself a little uh, hay bale thing that you have to parkour from one thing to another on. And what I'm going to do is... Ah, you know what? No, actually, I have to complete my own map. My gosh. This is my own thing. This is my own creation. How could I not complete it? Thing is, though, I'm so used to using the hard horse. Uh, don't even say anything on that one. I'm so used to using the hard level horse. It's going to be hard to use anything that's easy level. Hold on, let me... <laughs> totally not cheating. Also, I just realized... Not just realized, but um, with the whole rope thing, you can actually shift items in your hand without having to hold a rope. That's actually... It's kind of attached to my sight. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, but yeah, you can actually... I didn't mention that. Remember when I went over to the sheep and I was like, Oh yeah! Oh wait, I don't remember what I was saying. That's what I was going to say. You can actually switch items in your hand while, you're, while you have a rope uh, attached to something. Also, I... Like, unless you have a rope thing there, you- hold on. You actually can't, um, attach this to anything. It's a bit annoying, because now I just have a leash continuously on that I cannot disable unless I break- unless I sever the connection between us. Alright then, let's just go with the, uh, hard level, because I'm a little bit better at the hard level, in my opinion. In my opinion. Although I'll probably fail now that I'm on recording for it. But as you can see, you only have- um, you can only jump the two, the two bars when you're in the orange with, uh, this level of horse. And I've gotten pretty good at timing it, personally. Uh, oh, come on! No! I was on the last level! BS! Who made this map? Goddamn. Also, the horses apparently have enough resistance to rarely fail at this. Oh, god. Unless I fail. I mean, to, uh, rarely take too much- too many hearts of damage from that. See? I didn't get- I didn't get orange, so I didn't get the too- the too high thing of jumping. I gotta say, I've gotten- Oh, wow. Oh, dear, that was close. No, I failed. I'm doubting myself. I'm doubting myself. This is not good. No! Hold on. No, come on! Okay, yes. Good- good job on coming this far. Now jump into the cage below. Hoodish! Come on- Oh my god, I didn't think I was gonna make- Anyway. As soon as you step in here, I'm on peaceful mode, aren't I? I am. As soon as you step in here, you'll actually have mobs start to spawn. And this is for uh, the sword-based training. Uh, give them a second. There we go. They're a little bit slow. A little bit slow to the punch. This is just for sword-based training if you wanted to give it a shot. Um, I'm not sure if you guys 
I, you know, I, I just tried to do a different thing of everything. There's no- I was uh, planning to put a limit onto this, on for how long you would train, and then, like, this would open as a doorway. But I decided it would be better if you guys just wanted to try it for yourselves. Um, feel free to eat at any time. I put some food in there for you. Um, whenever you want to move on to this, these spawners should only activate when you're in this little cage. So you don't have to worry about them spawning when you get too far out of it. Um, so if I were to just walk over here. Uh, by the way, I really like this design with the hay bales here, the fences, and then the slabs up top. I'll show you that when I'm in creative. Uh, well, maybe they will spawn. Eh, if you don't want them, if you're that annoyed about them spawning, you can just go into peaceful and they shouldn't bother you. Um, oh yeah. Oh, excuse me. So, what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try some archery. Um, by the way, this is actually my first playthrough of this map. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, but if you can see here, I hope you like chicken. Now shoot the ties and the chicken. Once, uh, once you do the task behind you, uh, well, sorry. Once you do the task behind you, you'll be done. Thanks for playing. I can barely fit that on that sign. Yeah, but that's just in case you looked over here and it's like, task behind you? Oh! And then, uh, game mode one button for when you want to mess around. So let us go and try and shoot down these chickens. Uh, for challenge, try and shoot them while moving to the left or the right. Uh, again, I didn't make this too hard. Just a little thing. Also, yeah, you can shoot ties. Uh, a nice little thing to note in case you didn't know that already. Um, this bow has infinity. It'll never run out. Yeah, that's all I need to say. And last shot. Hood. No, that's way over. I do like how you can see arrows from a lot longer away now. Come on. Right on the money. Yes. All right. And so then when you're done, you just L shift to get off. Press this little button to go game mode one and then destroy everything if you want to. Grab some TNT. Have some good time. See how I make these guys spawn. I don't know why there are so many of you. There actually shouldn't. You know, just grab some TNT. Take all that effort I put into this map and just blow it up like a good person who finishes playing an adventure map. <laughs> I'm just every typical map player ever. Alright guys, so if you don't want to download this explosion version, I understand why. However, if you want to download the actual version, which has, um, like the actual, like, like what I started with this map on before I exploded everything, then, oh god, oh, oh no. It's awkward, right at the end of the map tip. Then, yeah, you can just click in the description below. Again, just for fun, uh, thank you all for watching. Tune in next time to see me clip into the ground. <laughs> I look like some sort of a weird-ass shark. Da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Alright, that didn't work very well. Alright, guys, thank you all for watching. To watching. Also, I noticed one other, th one other thing. It seems everything you ride, you actually do have to use L shift to dismount it. You no longer have to right click it. Although, on the pig, you go. But yeah, that's just a fun little thing for you guys who didn't know. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Tune in next time for uh, whatever I feel like doing. And. Oh, excuse me. And. Do, 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 do. By the way, I'm proud of this barn. This is a cool looking barn. I'm proud of this thing. It's cool. And yeah, do 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 Oh dear lord, see you around! Ah!